Hey boys and girls, this is Jim from Top Jimmy Profiles. Today we're demoing the Top Jimmy Sykes Pack for the Kemper Profiler. Time to make some noise. So in this pack, we're looking to recreate that iconic tone from the 87 White Snake album. Uh, so this was a tone that John Sykes and Bob Barak, the producer, got in the studio. And from interviews, we know that they used a uh, Mesa Boogie Coliseum head, which is a Mark III preamp section and six 6L6 six power tubes. Uh, so this is an 80s Mark III head. Um, so it's the same thing, but with four power tubes instead of six. So it basically sounds the same. All right, uh, what else do we know? Um, Sykes said he had the preamp set at about four. All right, and this is a red dot version of the Mark III, so it's got a little less gain than most of them. Um, so I turned up the preamp a little more at about five. They also said they use Celestion speakers in the cabinets. For microphones, a 57 and a Sennheiser 421. 
so that's the information we had to work with. And uh, we only really need one tone, right? The same tone is used through the whole album. So how difficult could that be, right? Correct answer is absolutely brutally difficult. Um, why is that? Well, that's not a lot of information to go on. And if you've owned a Mesa Boogie, you know that they have about a half a million different options, tonal options, via all these different knobs. Each knob is a push-pull, so that it's push-pull bright shift. I think that moves the frequency of the, the EQ around. There's actually two pull brights. And anyway, a deep switch. And then you've got the EQ here, and there's more on the back. You've got a presence on the back. You've got a switch to have either class A or class AB power amps. You can even use 6L6s or EL34s or a combination of both. Uh, so finding the magic elixir out of that myriad of options was a nightmare. It took a long time. Um, but eventually we got there. Uh, and for speakers, um, I tried a whole bunch of selections, but the correct answer was an old G1265, which is not a surprise. That was the standard, I believe the standard speaker of that era. Um, but one thing, another thing that made it really difficult was you actually can't get the sound of the White Snake album out of this amp. I tried and tried, and you can't do it. I eventually figured out that either the, the mixing engineer or the recording engineer EQ'd the hell out of the thing. Um, so what they did was they put a big wide EQ cut around, centered around a kilohertz and a big boost centered around four kilohertz. Um, you can't get enough out of this EQ even though it's you know cut and boosted quite a bit. It's not enough. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, once we got there, you know, it's it's really a fun tone to play. The clean tone is much easier to get. Uh, in an interview, he said he plugged his, I believe it was a 61 Strat, right into the board, into the console, uh, with a bunch of compression, a ton of EQ, um, and then of course chorus reverb delays on it. Um, sounds really cool, it's a lot of fun to play. My favorite part about this pack is the lead tone. Uh, if you've got a humbucker quick guitar like a Les Paul and a neck pickup, put it on the neck pickup, roll the tone back a little bit, and it just sustains for days. It's fantastic. Um, so I can see why John Sykes plays a Les Paul, because it's, it's a match made in heaven. So John Sykes didn't last very long in White Snake. He really needed to be his own front man. So he formed Blue Murder, um, and their self-titled album in 1989 also used the same rig. Uh, so the only difference between that and the White Snake tone from '87 is uh, there was a lot less EQ done um, after the amp. So the sound you hear is much more like what you would have heard coming off the mics in the control room. Uh, and also they didn't, it doesn't sound like they used a 421, it was just the SM57. And so coincidentally we also, uh, for the White Snake 87 uh, profiles, I did make a profile of what the amp sounded like without the EQ put in by the engineer. Um, it's a lot chunkier, uh, meatier tone, uh, it's very cool, so you have that available as well.
Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.